Greetings from San Diego, California. My name is Tom Piskin. About 25 years ago, I conceived the Titan Flex bicycle design. It started out looking something like this and has evolved to this. My intention was to create the ultimate triathlon bike. And during the early 90s, the Race Across America, the mother of all time trials, provided the perfect venue for testing the practicality and durability of my design. However, once exposed to the rigors of ultra cycling, like riding 300 miles a day for 10 days straight, I started to wonder what form of human powered vehicle would best meet the unique challenges of this event. My early conception resembled the Tron light cycle. Now, 20 years later, technology has progressed enough to build a working prototype. With the help of several friends and with components from Profile Design, it's been a blast to bring this thing together. Not knowing the exact body position for optimum riding, I engineered this three-axis adjustable pelvic cradle. Are you ready for a test ride? It's worth noting that the very first triathlon was held right here on Fiesta Island 41 years ago. So you could say we're on the hallowed ground of sporting innovation. My design objective was to incorporate the best attributes of recumbents and avoid their shortcomings, the biggest of which is their inability to position your body weight over the pedals for climbing. Keeping this wheelbase short does the trick and gives it road bike maneuverability when standing. Recumbents are quite comfortable, in part because they distribute your weight over more surface area. These hip pads support about half the weight that would otherwise be borne by my perineum. Maintaining an aero position on a road bike can create neck fatigue. Shermer's neck is a severe condition suffered by many RAM competitors. Keeping the head spine alignment neutral, like recumbent, mitigates this problem. Having your eyes high above the ground affords better visibility and also makes you more visible than a recumbent in traffic. Similar to a recumbent, pushing directly against the frame means less power is lost in upper body stabilization, so more power goes to the pedals. Also similar to recumbents, a more aerodynamic body position reduces drag which translates to more speed at the same power output. I'm collaborating with selected overseas suppliers to replace this prototype single speed hub with a multi-speed version. Finally, a lower center of gravity makes for better handling stability. This engineering adventure harkens back to the early 70s when I helped my dad construct an experimental aircraft in our garage. As such, it is dedicated to his memory. Well, that was fun. One last item. What should I name this thing? <laughs>